Once the wheels start turning, it will take only a few hours to turn out the finished Little Village magazine. But from the factory floor to the reader's desk, this product is made from the blood, sweat, and tears of University of Iowa alumni and professors. My name is Matthew Steele. I'm the publisher of Little Village. Little Village is a news and culture magazine uh, based in Iowa City. It's been around since 2001. Uh, we come out twice monthly. I'm essentially motivated by a desire to be part of a tradition of alternative zine publishing, uh, especially in Iowa, which is where my roots are. People, for as long as I've been around, have talked about the icon, and uh, I like to think that they might someday talk about Little Village the same way, except hopefully not in the past tense. <laughs> Local media is really important because, I mean, where you live is a specific place, right? And if you're only getting news and cultural coverage from national sources, uh, you know, or media outlets that are based in New York or LA, then it, it can really, I think, damage a community. There are a lot of cities 10 times the size of Iowa City that don't have anything like Little Village. So I'm motivated by a desire to have the artists that I respect and the writers that I respect get recognition from a broader audience. Little Village gives Iowa City a voice, and it is fed by writers and professionals from the University of Iowa's faculty, staff, and students. Not everyone who writes for Little Village is connected with the university, but there's a large number of people, writers, who contribute. You know, some of my own graduate students uh, to write about television, music, and all sorts of things. And the fact that we have the Iowa Writers Workshop, we have lots of writers in town, like really well-known writers and unknown but very talented writers. And I mean, that really helps inject blood into Little Village. Little Village has always been entwined with the university community. Several of our longest term contributors are UI faculty. Uh, Kimbrew McLeod has been in Little Village since I think the first issue. Uh, Thomas Dean has been in Little Village since close to the first issue. Um, we've always had great support from faculty in terms of trying to locate top level graduate students, top level, like, really promising undergrads. Getting connected with really bright people is how we cultivate great content. It's an endless struggle to get the magazine out to print, but what Iowa City and the Little Village staff get out of this magazine makes everything worth it. It's like, uh, I mean, it's like having a baby. It's painful and emotional and it's, it's, it's completely rewarding, but it's also expensive. It, <laughs> it makes you, um, you know, it will bleed all of your physical, financial, emotional resources, um, but you uh, will have the opportunity to externally verify that you existed on this planet.